guys, what's up? It's Britt Lyons. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be trying to follow one of Laura DIY's YouTube tutorials. I have Caitlin here today helping me film after years and years, not even years, it's probably been <laughs> like a couple, I don't know, I don't know how long it's been, but she's been away in South Carolina in school and college. She actually has a blog, you guys should check it out, I will link it down below so you guys can follow her and stuff, but I just want to thank her for helping me film today. This is my first attempt at thrifting as well as my first attempt at flipping, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm really excited to try this out and see if I can be crafty as well. Before we head to Goodwill with my friend, make sure you guys click subscribe and click the bell icon if you haven't already so that you never miss an upload. Also, let me know in the comment section if you have any DIY tricks that you are very good at because I would love to know that. All right, let's head to Goodwill. So basically what I'm planning on doing is Laura DIY dip dyed a flannel in bleach and like basically did it like an ombre type Oh, of that's thing. cool. Right? So, I gotta find the cheap flannel that I don't mind ruining. Just, in, just case. in case it doesn't work out. Oh, I like that one. This one, right? All right, so we got our flannel. Yay. All right, should we go, let's go to jeans. Where are jeans? What we're gonna do is we're gonna find a nice pair of jeans that we can turn into shorts. Oh, cute. And distress them. So, Ooh. fingers crossed that that goes well. I don't know what size I would be. <laughs> These are $7, though. I like, like, I like like tight jeans, or not tight, but like, you know what I mean? Like I like the skinny look, but I feel like for yeah. jeans shorts, I feel like. Oh, you need more, yeah, like not like skinny right jeans. Bit. That's true. These are skinny boyfriend jeans. Oh, I feel like those would actually work. Those might work. Yeah, and it's okay if they're a little loose. I'm not too worried. And then they yeah. have plain butts, and I need to find a fabric to put over this, because we're gonna do that too. But okay, I I think we found our jeans, right? They look nice with they're the nice shirt too. nice to distress, I think. Yeah, yeah, right, they do look good with the shirt. Yeah. I found my items, so I'm gonna go check out. And I'll see you at my house when I'm actually doing the doing the crafts. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay, we're back. So I kind of want to go back to the thrift store, not going to lie, because I'm really nervous about this video and I kind of want to hide in there from it. You guys don't understand, I'm really not a crafty person at all, so I don't know if I can pull this off. So we're going to start with these jeans that I picked up at Goodwill, if you guys saw it. I pretty much am planning on cutting them into shorts and also doing a little DIY makeover to one of the butt pockets, making it a lot cuter with some fabric. I just feel like another piece of fabric on the butt pocket will just had a little extra flair in true Laura DIY fashion. We're going to consult Laura DIY's video. I mean, that looks relatively easy, so let's see if we can do it. She took a piece of cardboard and she put it in between the pants and then just like roughed it up. I need to get a piece of cardboard. Clearly not prepared. My mom came in clutch for this craft because 
She just happened to bring these home. Thanks, Mom. So I'm assuming you're not supposed to have the pocket in this, right? Because we don't want to cut the pocket. We'll just let the washer machine um, fix the rest of that. <laughs> Let's do the other leg. Oh no! Did I just go through the pocket? So I'm assuming you're not supposed to have the pocket in this, right? Because we don't want to cut the pocket. <laughs> I just went through the pocket. Something uh, Laura DIY does not teach is uh, always make sure the pockets are not in the way because I just poked a hole right into the pocket. We're gonna, I'm gonna put these in the washer and um, hopefully they do something better than I've just done. And uh, yeah, so fingers crossed that they come out okay. I think they actually came out pretty decent. So this is what they look like. Laura DIY came through with the recommendation of just throwing these in the wash. So in true Laura DIY fashion, we're going to cover one of the butt pockets in this like really cute fabric. And I feel like they could look super cute. How do we like? It looks cute, right? Mm. We might have redeemed ourselves, ladies. Yeah, like the front. The front is pretty cute. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Nice. I like it the front. <laughs> I like it the front. <laughs> we'll see you when the uh, flannel is done and when this has had a little bit of time to set. I also picked up this flannel because I saw her do <laughs> nothing because my flannel's on the ground. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Get them up. I also picked up this flannel because I saw her do a really cool DIY where she dip dyed half of a flannel in bleach. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but uh, we're, we're going to try it today and hopefully it looks as cute as hers did. I'm really nervous for this part because I watched the video and in the video she really doesn't give much direction on what she's doing. So I'm kind of just like winging it and hoping that I can figure it out based on what she's doing in the video. I'm going to watch how she bleached this flannel and hopefully we can get it to come out right. So if this does turn out, you know, it's a one-to-one-ish ratio of bleach to water. Okay, one-to-one -one ratio of bleach to water. Do you need gloves? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so she did half. She like dipped it in half. So that's what we're going to do today too. I'm just going to do half. Just, just half. Which half? Bottom half. Don't try this at home kids. Here's a question. How do we dispose of this when we're done? Down the sink? Down the toilet. I'm gonna ask my dad about <laughs> just in case. Are you mixed? <laughs> Don't really know. Alright. I'm gonna try it. Oh god, I'm scared. Go in there. Excuse me. It's just floating on top. What do I do? Love non-direction DIYs. <laughs> yeah, I love not knowing what I'm doing. It's really fun. We left this in for five to ten minutes. It was actually more like ten minutes. And it did nothing. So, Rachel came up with the idea to blow dry it. We're gonna do that. So Rachel was the best pal ever and literally sat here and blow dried this for me. I think this is the best that it's going to get. Does it look like Laura DIYs? No. Do I have any more bleach? No. I need to actually go get some more bleach now. Sorry mom. I'm going to throw this in the washer and uh, 
We'll see how it turns out. Now that we finished all of our DIYs, courtesy of Laura DIYs YouTube tutorials, I'm going to put on this entire outfit and see if we did it justice. I'll be satisfied if this outfit looks better than it did before we started all these DIYs, so let's try it on. This is how the flannel turned out. Um, it's not that, it's it's pretty bad. It's yeah. pretty bad, it's an abomination. I think this is going right in the garbage or maybe back to Goodwill. <laughs> I feel like this would be <laughs> like an insult to, to return this back to Goodwill. But these are how the jean shorts turned out because they were jeans and then I cut them into shorts. I feel like I definitely could have gone a hair shorter just a little bit um they are a little big so i did have to use a snack clip <laughs> it is the fabric patch that we ended up doing so i feel like the jeans were successful and i would do this again we all try things sometimes we fail sometimes we succeed and this video is a perfect example of that the title is i tried following a lore diy youtube tutorial and I did do that, I tried. That's it for today's video. It would be cool if maybe Laura DIY saw this so she could give me some pointers for next time maybe. There won't be a next time. <laughs> Remember to hit subscribe if you guys haven't already and click the bell icon so that you never miss an upload. Be sure to follow me on Instagram so that we can hang out in between uploads. I wanna thank my friends Caitlin and Rachel for being here with me today and helping me through this traumatizing experience. <laughs> Treacherous. Don't forget to tell me in the comments if you have any DIY talents yourself because I would love to know so let me know down below. I hope you guys are having a great week so far and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. 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 That's a wrap. Give me, can, can you give me my other flannel back because I just like, this is.